Okay, we're filming. All right. Okay, so what we have here is a replica 1766 Charleville. This weapon was supplied to the Continental troops after 1777 when the French finally uh, allied with the Americans uh, against the British forces. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go through a complete live fire on this guy as demonstration. So what we have here is we have a 69 caliber barrel. During the, uh, the actual war, the soldiers had cartridges, paper cartridges made up, of which they had the, the uh, paper cartridge, the ball would be at the bottom of the cartridge, and then you'd have the gunpowder on top. Well, here I have 2F gunpowder already pre-measured. We're going to put 75 grain down the barrel here, and then we've got a 66 caliber lead ball that's going to go down the barrel with it. So, that's 75 grain of 2F gunpowder. We take the 66 caliber lead ball and we wrap it in a greased patch. The patch is greased to provide the lubricant for that ball to get out. Take the ramrod get the ball down there seated in the breech of the barrel. Okay. The weapon's now loaded. We're going to take the cock and that's the safety position of the cock. And we're going to take the 4F gunpowder, which is a finer gunpowder, and we're going to fill the pan. The prism comes back. Now we're ready to go ahead and she's armed and loaded. So we're going to go back to a full cock position. We got an English flint. It's going to hit that frizzin, create the spark. It's going to fire the pan. With a little luck, we'll, we'll hit the target. And here we go. We have a misfire. again. The misfires were common in these weapons so we're going to put the try this again. bang. Uh -huh. So there it is, a 1766 Charleville. And we're done. There we go.